guys, it's your girl Kalisti here, and welcome to Let's Play Techno Babylon Part 2 The Way to the World. Now, before I start anything, I am going to issue a viewer discretion advisory because this game does start out with images of suicide and some other serious contacts. So, without further ado, let me get into what I do know about this game. I really I looked it up, but not a lot. The only thing I do know about this game is that we are not playing as the first game's protagonist, uh, Latha Sesame. We're playing as somebody new, a doctor, uh, Charles Regis, who is a geneticist. And that's all. I, that's all I know, really. Um, I. I do have some other news about this game. It seems that in 2010 it was nominated for a lot of awards. Here, let me um, just read out some of them for you. It was nominated for Best Game Created with AGS, Best Gameplay, Best Original Story, Best Dialogue Writing, Best NPC, Best Background Art, and Best Music. That's a lot of awards to be nominated for. I don't know how many of those it won, but I am interested in it. So, without further ado, let's start. Oh, and I'm probably going to be silent for the majority of the beginning part because as, like, with the other game, it kind of goes a little bit too fast for me to read, especially when they're speaking. So, once I get in control, I will start maybe ho hopefully turning down the speed so it'll be easier for me to read. Well, anyway, let's get started. Tower South. Tier 73, Balcony 11, T26 hours. Everyone gets those moments. The ones of crushing despair. The ones where you think the whole world is conspiring against you and the sick mockery of events. And everyone has their own ways of coping. Friends, drink, a special place they can go to. You have all three of them, but you've resorted to the latter today. Of course, you hadn't expected to find someone sitting in your tree. Your eyes wandered, are drawn down, excuse me, your eyes are drawn to the length of cable wrapped around the, one of the sturdier branches. The other end of it is looped over her head. You can guess what she came here to do. Hmm. She shrugs listlessly. So let me, um, before I start anything, let me turn down some things. Well, actually, no, let me go ahead and get this girl down. I already know what to do. It kind of shocked me. Anyway, um, you dig up a roll of tape and a telescoping rake out of your toolbox. Apparently, this is where she took the cable to carry out her plan. And let's get this. You take the blue shirt. Let's get these shears. They're large under pretty tightly. You give the shears a tug that has loosened them a bit. 
hug it again. Oh, cheers. On the second pull, they come free, but the weight of the rock has broken it at the hinge, leaving you two halves of garden shears. Okay, so. Cut the cable in a tree, trying as hard as you can to avoid injuring the plant. She drops to the floor with a racket thump. Alright, now that that is over, because that is just intense. I did not expect that when I first started playing this, when I was testing out the settings. Oh, goodness. trying to find a good speed where it's slow enough that I can read but fast enough that they can walk decently. I think that should be good. Okay, now that we've done that, let's check on the young woman. You pull the loop of cable from around her neck. She begins to breathe but more shallow than you would like. You raise you realize that you're drawing a complete blank on what to do next. Without a resuscitation kit, you're lost when it comes to first aid. You decide to call someone who might have a better idea. You open the communication link to, to your partner. Regis, thank God I've been looking for you. Cin con yeah, Central's been on my ass for hours. Where are you? You delinked, didn't you? No time, Max. There's an emergency here. An emergency? A suicide attempt. Dr. Lab puts on an uncharacteristically professional attitude when time is of the essence. Right. I'll get Central to dispatch a med team. Where are you? You find it hard to tell her, but you know you have to if the girl's going to be safe. Tower South, Tier 73, Balcony 11. Okay, what state is she in? Breathing bad. Pretty bad. She's breathing unless she's bleeding out. But she's, yeah. Have you given her first aid? <laughs> Max, that's why I called you. I know nothing about first aid. Aren't you a doctor? I do cells. Genetics. She's thousands of times larger than what I usually deal, deal with. You're the only one I can trust to call. Alright, alright. If she's got a laceration that you'll you'll like that you'll need to slow the blood flow. Tie a tourniquet around her arm, use a hose, a belt, or something. We want to stop infection. Find something that can clean the wound, ideally something that will kill bacteria. Then you want to apply pressure to the wound. Find or make a bandage for that. Alright, thank you, Max. You're welcome, Charlie. I'm on my way. Okay, like I said, I already know what I need to do, so let's um, go over here. Oh wait, let's look at this pack first. I know it's times of the essence, but uh, let's at least do this first. Uh, oh wait. Not done. You loop the cable around her upper arm a few times and pull it tightly. Hopefully this will slow the blood flow enough to until rescue arrives. Let's do this. You cut a fairly long ribbon of fabric from the shirt. Okay, cool. But let me look at this. Victoria Regis. Hatred will never cease by hatred. Hatred ceases by love alone. Remembered forever through her deeds. I'm guessing that's his wife. Every word on that small plaque is etched into your soul. Huh. 
the hell is this? Go look over here. A pile of cherry blossoms raked into a pile. You don't remember doing it, so you must have had rather too much to drink when it happened. Now let's go through that. You run your foot through the pile of petals and uncover a bottle of spirits. So that's where it went. At least I didn't throw it over the side this time. Okay, we got that. Let's look at it. A potent alcoholic drink, a depressing testament to your method of coping. Well, that's vodka. Alcohol is really good for killing off germs, so let's use that on her. Use it on her, the young woman. You gingerly pour the contents of the bottle over her forearm, hoping it would disinfect the wound enough. She doesn't react at all to what would be burning pain if she was conscious. Okay, and let's use this young woman. You wrap a ribbon around like a bandage. You pull it tightly as you can and secure it with a knot. You've done all you can to, for her. It's up to rescue services to do the rest when they arrive. Now, I noticed in this game you have more choices than what you do in, than what you did in the first one is how you handle it. Regis! How is she? The medics say it's touch and go, but she's definitely, she definitely wouldn't have survived if you hadn't helped. She's lucky you came by. Do you hang around the balconies a lot? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. It seems like you have a choice of how to handle your conversations, almost like Mass Effect a bit with the choices. Oh, Mass Effect Bioware choices. Anyway, let's be honest, because you're probably in shock anyway. Yes, I have a good, re very good reason to. Have a look at the plaque. Victoria Regis. Charlie, this is... I'm sorry, I didn't know. You shouldn't. I didn't tell anyone. Wow. I know you got some serious high up strings you can pull, but I didn't think they'd ever let someone be buried up here. And how the hell can you afford somewhere like this? Um, let's talk about buried. She isn't buried up here. She was cremated like everyone else. I see. The tree is very special, though. How so? I made it myself from scratch. Planted it and grew? No, made. It's a cross between an apple tree and cherry blossoms. The junk DNA in every cell of it contains her entire genome. Wow. This tree is very sickly. It takes a lot of looking after. But you're doing it for her? Makes it all worth it. Uh, so something happened to his wife and I guess in the DNA of this tree is her is her DNA so basically it's almost like this is her let's talk about his wife a little bit we were married for six years the best six years I'm sorry it couldn't last we met in our profession she was a geneticist didn't you have kids we decided to wait a bit. We had things put on hold. Had a standby embryo batch set set up too. Nothing came of it though. Sounds like you really loved her. I'm really sorry. I remember reading it was Cooney, wasn't it? She worked at Tatsumoto, didn't she? Don't press me, Dr. Lau. Sorry. You're right, this place is very expensive. Why do you think I live in an uprap in the southeast? I didn't know that's where you lived either. Speaking of Cooney, didn't you hear he got released? That's why I came up here today. I come when I'm troubled. Apparently he's a model of reformed citizenship. I guess 20 years of evasive therapy is, have contributed. You don't believe it though, do you? Even if it was completely true. I know there's absolutely no way I can forgive that man. After
what he did. On the bright side, he'd probably be pretty mad at you too. How's that a bright side? As the one who put him away. If he could have thought like that anymore without falling over and vomiting. You put him away and that's the start. Dr. Lyle's eyes glaze over for a moment. Sintra wants us. We need to get moving. I'm afraid so. You coming? Um, let's be tactful. I just need a minute to- I just need to think for a minute. You sure you don't need someone to talk to? Thank you, Max. I'll be alright. Okay, I'll wait in the car. You thought you had reached a kind of solid emotional plateau. However, whenever problems hit you, they seem to come in large groups. Yeah, this is very different from this, the first game. I'll, I'll give you that. God! You instantly regret making yourself available. What is it? It takes a moment for the caller to manifest themselves. Dr. Regis. Yes, and you are? 1448D. Oh, These are the serial numbers for four embryo containers. The image, of, the image form, sure enough, whoever is calling has your four embryo containers. Uh oh, and why is there a hammer over them? Your stomach lurches as you recognize their picture. You know them, you've seen them before, but you hadn't known them by number. What about them? You try your best to avoid betraying any feeling in your voice but are unsure if you succeeded. They were removed from Brian Lee Memorial Medical Center, originally deposited at 8.15 on the 11th of November, 2099. They have been fer fertilized by your, you and your doctor and Dr. Victoria Rezes. They were frozen at the earliest viable phase. Three are female and one is male. They were deposited after your fertility treatment proved. Stop this! You can't hold yourself any longer. Why are you telling me this? Who are you? And what are you doing with my embryos? The voice pauses for a moment, as if you interrupted its flow. You are about to be tasked with the investigation of a death in the Northeast Residential. At the scene of the crime is the device I require. Secure it before it can be recovered by other parties. What is it? That is neither your concern. Secure the device and keep it away from the public access. You will be contacted with further information, instruction upon its retrieval. Do not delay. Doing so will place your legacy in jeopardy. Wait! It disappears as quickly as it came. You hope to God that you just imagine that the previous call. That pressure, excuse me, that the pressure of work is just getting to you. And that it was merely your cracking under exertion. Oh my god. Regis, I'm getting old. Yes, I'm coming. You make a conscious effort to appear calm and collected. You're unsure how successful you are, so you try to avoid the subject by talking to Max. Where are we going with the mind jacker? Funny you should mention that. That's why Central has us activated. The informant turned out to be genuine? We weren't sure, so we tracked them down. Guess who they were? No idea. Jill Van Wall. I'd never heard of them. Big Shot Animus Organics Executive Sword. Oh, him. That guy married to the Olympic swimmer? Yeah, that's the one. Turns out he's been leaking us details. So, the, a link between uh, the Mijacker and Animus?
They're both dealing gray matter. Either way, Central wanted us to have a word with him. In person? Very strange. Charlie, I shouldn't have been to your personal messenger between you and Central. I'm your partner, not your secretary. Why don't you get yourself tranched up? Then Central can tell you yourself. It's not for me. I didn't grow up with it like you. Max grins, teasing you about your lack of connectivity is something she relished. You're still unsure what the voice meant about murder if you're only being dispatched for a friendly chat. If, if you manned up and... Max? Journal Central wants a word. Dr. Regis, standing by, an emergency situation has arisen. Dr. Lau and yourself will divert to the South Harbor Transit Station. What's the... Dr. Lau has been provided with a substantial detail. Your objective is, is to ensure the safety until armed... Oh my god. Or if possible, neutralize the offending party. That is all. Business like as ever. South Harbor Transit Center, T23 hours. Sir, over here. I'm Dr. Regis and this is Dr. Lau. We're with Cell. 218B, sir. Mun munitions and Ordnance Operation South Leaf Precinct. What happened here, officer? It's another one, sir. Another what? Bomber, sir. Um, let's see. What do we know about the bomber? Not a great deal, apparently. Central couldn't trance me very much. Same MO as the others? It looks like it, sir. From the images, it doesn't look like he's got much room to carry a bomb. If he's like the last one, he's a biobomber. What's a biobomber? He's been altered. Effectively, he's the bomb himself. They'll probably have quote, conditioned him too. Why haven't I heard about these other ones? Because Central has been doing his best to keep them from the pub public. We don't need people thinking the war is still going. Let's talk about the discovery of the bomber. Central tells me they caught the genome on the way to the station. Why didn't they get him on the way in the city? The sensors at the airport are still all physical. Just hand touch testers, he'll probably be pursuitum layer. Fitted to give a different result with those scanners. The station here has foglet sensors though. As soon as he breathed out, we had him. Do we know who he is? Unlikely. The sensors will have, have been looking for genetic markers. Not his. They'll be for the explosive production in his body. Anyone in danger? Has he taken any hostages? No. The foglet sensors caught him. The alarms went off and everybody panicked and ran. There are still a lot of people trapped on the level below, but we're slowly getting them out. Are we expecting any more upper support from ordinance? I'll check. You can't see his eyes, but you guess he's trancing with uh, Central. M.O. are having difficulty lo loading the drone. Sup will be on its way ETA 20 minutes. How long we got? Why so long? We got a crisis. I think we can handle this, sir. Is he stable? Um, he's threatened to detonate. But I guess it's good he hasn't so far? Okay, so I'll go talk with him. Regis, have you lost your mind? I think I can reason with him. Apparently, coping with suicidal is my role today. Or at least cope keeping him distracted until someone can get a shot in. I don't want to, to I don't want it to come to that, but I understand. Central's order were very vague. I say we make use of that. Max, you get to high ground. Okay. Use low, use low's velocity shot and take him down with the code word ghost. Okay. I'll try to keep him talking. Yes, sir. Right, let's do our jobs. Max, get to high ground. On my way. 
sir. I have an armor set. A spare. I think you should take it. Okay, yeah, let's take it. Thank you, officer. Worst comes to worst, might as well have some protection. That's not funny. That is not funny. Good luck, sir. Thanks. Wow, this game is intense. I'm coming in. I'm unarmed and alone. My name is Charlie. I just want to talk. Is that alright? Is it alright to come down? He doesn't even turn to look at you. Come slowly. Sheffy. That's enough. That's close enough. What do you want, oppressor? Um, let's tell him his name. My name is Charlie. I'm a scientist for Cell. Can you tell me about yourself? I'm a warrior for God and the, and for justice. You may call me Zachary. Nice to meet you, Zachary. Um, let's see. Let's ask him if this is he if, if this is what he wants. So, you've got us in quite a situation. You don't look very happy about it. I'm fighting for my people. Are you? Or are you here because the militia warlord told you to be? I... Is it really what you want to do? End your life destroying the transit station? It's not about what what I want. I'm sure you've been told that it is. For the cause, of course. But think of, for a moment. How is it helping? How is it going to help anyone? Especially those close to you. Let's go with this one. So you chose the transit station. What? It's not a very strategic place to attack. We've caught four other bomber attempts. There are in factories and bases, etc. Why station? I I wasn't supposed to. But when the alarm went and the police came, there was nowhere I could go. I have to make my stand here. Oh, that's that must be Max. I'm in position. I can see both of you. Just say the word. You're not going to get me to. He droops his head for a moment before his eyes glaze and returns to you. Let's ask if he's all right. Are you all right? Huh? You look like you're having trouble. You Would you like some help? No, stay back! He will give me the strength to do this. I've seen your bones. They must, they're... All that chemical packed into you? Your body metabolized the hell out of it, still. Trying to build more bone. Part of my sacrifice. Your genes were rewritten before you were born. There's no way you could have agreed. Um, let's see. Let's do it this way. Your childhood, you've you've had your childhood stolen. All of your life, you've been groomed for this. Everyone told you this is your purpose. Have you ever wanted to be more than this? Thoughts like that are, I know what they have tried to stop you. But you're not merely something for them to use. They're treating you like a tool, a weapon. But you are a living, feeling human being. I understand wanting to help your family, your people. And I can see that you know these things haven't gone the, the, to your plan, whatever. Come in with me. We can see about making your life your own. Um, yeah, let's try to talk him down without shooting him. We're not like warlords say we are. We don't torture our prisoners. We don't have a death penalty. We may even be able to help you get therapy. You don't need to be a weapon, especially not someone else's. Make your own choice. Come in with me. Can you, can you really help me, Mr. Regis? I'll do it myself if I have to. 
Kings is head. Okay. Woo! We talked him down. Wow. Is he? There's an officer process processing him now. Well, nice work, Dr. Regis. I'm sure Central will still be pretty irked if you took things into your own hands, though. Don't worry, I thought it was awesome. And nobody had to die. Obviously, that girl was just a warm-up for talking to the suicidal. Don't look at me like that. Rescue trance me and says she'll be just fine. Are we leaving for the locals to handle? We should. We've got our informant to track down. We'll handle paperwork later. Great, I'll see you in the car then. Damn it! What is it? Do you have the device? We haven't gotten to an apartment yet. A situation arose. Delay will not be tolerated. You don't want to think too hard about what trying to save that boy's life may have cost you. Oh my god. Really? Bastard. Summer Glow Apartments, T23 hours. 22 hours. Hello, Mr. Von Der Wall? <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, Miss I. Regis, it's a synth. Haha, <laughs> the look on your face is priceless. Very expensive one, but it's still a synth. And apparently on out of charge. Mr. Vanderval, cell agents! Is he out? No, Central knows they came in on Friday. The synth had left and returned, but they still should be here. Maybe they're upstairs. It's pretty late. You do your best to conceal that you know any more about the situation. Or what might lie upstairs. Okay. So, I'm actually going to end this video right now. And next week, we will go upstairs and try to find a device that this mysterious person wants us to get before anybody else has a chance. And let's hopefully... Hopefully he hadn't destroyed one of our children. That would be horrible if he did. This game is pretty intense, I have to say. But thank you for watching. As always, I am grateful for any likes, subscriptions, or comments. Please feel free to leave them. This is Khaleesi, and I will see you next Wednesday for Let's Play Techno Babylon Part 2. Have a nice day.